G'day chaps and welcome back. This is part three of my let's play of Satellite Rain. Um, since the last episode, I played a little bit. Let me just show you. I've um, on the map here. I've opened up all of the um, relay beacons. I've also, as you can see, I've uh, hacked quite a few ATMs around the town. I haven't really done any other missions though. Um, there are each one of these represents a mission you can do. So I've not I've not really explored any of those yet. Uh, I'll record those if I do them. Um, I've decided to go straight up for the bank because um, we need more cash. Uh, I'm doing some research here. This is the weapon we picked up when we um, rescued our infiltrator and every time we turn on research it just sends us broke. So I'm gonna send them into the bank and we'll see how it goes. Maybe we die, maybe we don't. I haven't tried this yet so you are going to learn as I learn. Um, I'll read through the mission just so that we know what's going on again. Um, so tag, mission controller. It's time to talk cash. We can set up a long-term solution. Use our hacker to hack siphon filters into ATMs around the city. All right, we've done all this. Da -da -da -da, here we go. But if you were thinking about a larger payday, we pay the bank a visit. Every district's got a major corp financial institution, the legit, supposedly secure economic hub of each district in the city. This is the linchpin each district revolves around. If you're short on scratch and high on motivation, this is the place to hit. Sending our hacker in will allow our ATM siphons to be doubly aggressive, increasing the rate of money trickling in. We can also go loud. Send the soldier in to blast the vault, swagger in and grab all we can, just like an action flick. Rewards, downtown ATM siphons, 140%. So I'm going to activate that ping just so that we know where we're going. Now I have done a little reading, um, a couple of incidental points by the way. You've got a fast track system here which is fantastic. You can choose any of these relay beacons and send either one or all of your agents to them so that's going to be really useful down the line so these relay beacons are, are very very important it's also where you can uh, upgrade your your agents um, another thing is I found out where the name satellite rain comes from um, so satellite rain and I didn't really remember this but satellite rain was the name of a huge weapon in the original syndicate, but it was sat uh, satellite and then rain as in rain from the sky, so spelt differently. Now they've taken the, the same concept and let me see, is that the, okay, so that's going into the bank. I'm trying to talk and figure out what I'm doing as per usual, don't know how effective it's going to be as per usual. Um, and because there's this concept in this game of um, your your relay beacons being so important, hang on, I'm just gonna just gonna nick somebody because oh, that's a bad idea. It's too late. What I want to ooh, he ran away. I hope he doesn't raise an alarm. Ah, he's just panicking. What I wanted to do, because I've found that um, you can hijack people uh, and you can take them for cloning, which is one thing. Uh, you know, if your agents die, you need clones so that they can be put, their consciousness can be put into a new body. So that's important. The other thing, I can't go in there, can I? So uh, I'll show you what I mean. There's one guy here sitting by himself down there, so I'm going to steal him. The other thing you can do with them is use them... Uh, too late. So I panicked him as well. The other thing you can do is you can use them as distractions, which is really pretty cool. So, look, I've just grabbed this guy, and then if I needed a distraction, a distraction and this is kind of like the original Syndicate, I can use this guy as my my throwaway guy because he comes equipped with a pistol 
Seems like everybody carries pistols in this game. Um, and I can use him to. Oh, hang on. Let me just. Oh, interesting. So this security camera is not disabled. Hmm. Ah. I think this isn't the way in, you know. I'm pretty sure this isn't the way in. And I'll show you why. If we went in this way, we'd have to go past these security cameras. And there's no way past that. Maybe there is. But I'm pretty sure they'd see us. Whereas this is the main gate. Hmm. Not quite sure how to do this yet. Maybe we can slip past. So... I'm telling you a couple of things right at the same time, so I'll, I'll finish what I'm saying. Satellite Rain, the name of the game, um, it goes back to the, uh, the, the, relays, the relay beacons that, you, um, that are so important. And... The idea is that it's this play on words because you have these satellites uh, with these beacons, and they are they 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 save you basically. If you um if you die, you can uh, you can be saved by uploading your consciousness to another body, and that gives you reign over the city. There you go. There's the play on words. So that's how it works. Okay, so we can sneak past this uh, security guard. I'm going to use my hacker. Sprint him past. Hopefully he makes it in time. Yep, it's looking good. This is when stealth becomes so important. What is this? Uh, okay. I'm trying to get over here. I need to uh, disable this security system. See if we can make it that far. Oh, little glitch. I also found, by the way, incidentally, if you watched the previous episodes, that you can turn the camera. I was complaining about it. Um, and it turns out I shouldn't have been complaining about it because there's there's nothing wrong. You can turn the camera. You, it's just designed that you can only turn it so much, which is completely fair enough. Okay, so here's a lift, and that'll take me up there. Hmm. I think I need to move my um, distraction dude. Ooh, shit, right. He's gonna get in trouble. Fuck, she, we're both arrested. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna have to do rescue. Right. Have to do some killing. This is not the way we wanted to do it. Let's get them in cover. Not the way I wanted this to go. I am gonna abort. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try again in a minute. Oh, he's dead. Oh, shit. Alright, let's get out. That was a miserable failure. Put all your guns away. And leave. Wow. <laughs> I didn't do very well, did I? That was embarrassing. Maybe I should just... Uh... Oh, God. Okay, everybody after me. Run and hide. So, at least I get to demonstrate how the um, relay beacons help. So I read that. Oh yeah, there you go. 
When you take them back to the relay beacon, it recharges your health, it recharges your uh, everything. Got that alarm still going off. Right, let's just see what happens. I want to see if it. Okay, so it's reset. They've calmed down, right. So they've gone back to normal. I really wonder if that means we are not able to go back in again, though. I'm just going to upgrade my skills a little bit. So who's this? This is my hacker. I want them, right. So I can't improve them. I want what I really need is them to get to a, a higher hacking level, and they can't do that yet. So I'm going to just wait on that. For my soldier, um, the soldier's going to be the main fighter. So there are two things that are kind of useful here. Draw fire is one. Causes enemies to focus their attacks on the soldier. That would be good if my soldier were stronger than my other agents, but she's not. So I'm just going to go for the basic health. I'm going to save the hacker's point so that I can upgrade the hacking later. Otherwise, I'll just leave it. Right. Now let's do a little test. If I go back. Um, just gonna steal somebody again. So I can use it as a distraction. There we go. Now let's see if the alarm gets raised just because I walk back in there again. Or if it's sort of a, a complete reset. Because I don't have any weapons out at the moment. Okay, I'm in full view of security cameras and security forces. Okay. So it resets completely. Alright, so we screwed up. It didn't work out. Let's try the other way. Let's see how this goes. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a, uh, a little guide, by the way, a beginner's guide. There's a lot to learn in this. I mean, I've just gone into the controls. The controls alone are actually pretty overwhelming. There are so many things that you can actually do. I had no idea at all, um, but it's really quite impressive. Okay, so what I need to do... You see the security camera up here. That's how we disable it. Because it's going to be really important to take those cameras out. So, I think I just need to use my hacker alone. I need to hack this, get my guy in, turn the cameras off, and then let me just send my hacker alone on this mission. It'd be a hell of a lot easier to control. Because on the last time, I started getting a little bit distracted just by the fact that um, there were so many things going on, so many people to. I'm going to wait because I'm going to get seen if I go through right now. I need to time it right. So basically need both of these two security guards to be looking the other way and then I'll I'll sprint over here. I'll sort of get behind that. And then I'll try and nip under the uh the camera. And I need to get to the lift here which will take me up here and then I can disable the uh, camera system. Let's see if I can do this with one hacker. So I just need to get my guy in there and out again. Now I did actually read um, in a guide, I had a, just a quick look. I did read that... I'm going to go quick and see if this works. So I should be hidden from the guard now. I did read that you can send in your soldier and your hacker if you want to get double the benefits. Um, but that's a little bit much for me right now. Maybe I'll do the hacker first and then see if I want to do the soldier after. 
The other thing is I don't want this uh, video to run on too long, of course. 20 minutes being optimal. Right, so let's just let that guard walk away a little bit further. Now I'm going to run around. Now. Is he going to get under the camera? Yes, he is. And to the lift. Up here. Now let's just... Let's use a bit of stealth. In terms of the skills, I read that um, you get more skills for using more stealth, unsurprisingly, but um, the main point being that the game is actually tracking how you complete missions, which is pretty cool. Very cool, in fact. I'm going to change this guy's weapon to... Oops. Yeah. Actually, we can keep that out. So he's got a silencer on his pistol, so that means that if we get the opportunity we can kill people, basically assassinate them, and we can do it quietly. So I'm going to let's sprint that bit. So these cameras are off. Uh, there's not really any good way of getting up here. I'm tempted to uh, shoot this guard. Seek oh shit, oh shit, there's one coming. Fuck, you see me? Fuck, fuck. Right, I'm fucked. Fuck, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. I can't get in, I'm done. He's dead. Fuck. I'm gonna have to replay this. No. So what happens? I oh, say so he's just come back. Now that's interesting. So I've just lost one of my. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so you get... You get your people back. No matter what happens. Right, we're going to have to go back and try this again. <laughs> Not the most impressive episode, I have to say. <laughs> oh dear. But, what I shouldn't do is just um, upload the successes, should I? I should show you how the game actually is. Because, I mean, I'm learning the same as anyone else would be learning. Right, let's try it this way. I'm going to get through, I'm going to try and take this guy out. So what you can do is you can assassinate. Come on. That's it. So you see, I've silently killed him. And you can pick up his stuff. I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to wait. I'm going to get back here to where the uh, security cameras are. Basically, I'm going to hide. I'm going to wait till the security cameras come back on, because this time has nearly come up. Interesting how that guard's body just has completely vanished. Very useful indeed. But it just goes to show how the um, that silenced pistol can be useful. Oh, there's his stuff. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, I think that's about um, it's about 20 minutes now, so I'm going to call it. A, I'm going to take a little break, and I'll be right back with the uh, next episode, and we'll see how this goes. Very cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers.